Hey, uh, welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to do a time map, basically. But um, we want to do a time map uh, with these four textures, right? And we want to blend them. For example, if the dirt is uh, next to the water, we want to blend the dirt and the water, right? But we don't want we don't want to use tile connections because um, we will need uh, 16 images for each texture. And that's kind of annoying when you are not an illustrator like me, or when you are a dev, you don't want to spend all your time drawing stuff, right? So we can do this uh, using shaders and the mesh. Um, so, first of all, this tutorial is not uh, how to generate a mesh in Unity. There is a lot of good tutorials for this on the internet, so I will link them in the description. And uh, I will explain quickly the concept of uh, what is a mesh and the vertices, triangle and this. Uh, but, and uh, the same uh, goes for shaders, right? I will use a custom shader in this, I will show the shader, I will share the shader, but uh, I will not uh, explain uh, how everything works, right? The, uh, the interesting part is the system uh, behind uh, all of this, not the shader itself, right, and the mesh generation. Um, so this is a new Unity project, we just have four textures, a shader, I will show the shader later, and uh, some basic scripts. So uh, map, uh, map is just a list of tile, right? A map mesh and the map renderer. Uh, mesh data is just um, another level of abstraction for the Unity mesh object. I will explain that uh, in details later. And res is just a, a array to load resources. That's all. It's a static uh, class with one static method. Uh, it's really simple. We'll see. We will see. So uh, we have tile, map, uh, mesh data, map mesh, res is static, and map renderer with a mono behavior. And the map renderer is attached to the object map, right? And we have also main camera with set to orthographic with set 12 at the position 2010, right? That's all of our setup. I will share this um, Unity project on my. Uh, uh, GitHub account, and so um, yeah. So uh, just to explain what we are going to do, so um, we are not going to use the sprite system of Unity or the time lapse system of Unity. I tried to uh, when I was making my game, but uh, I need to handle uh, big maps like 400 or 500 by 500, and that's a lot of tiles, right? Uh, for example, the, I think the biggest map in my game is uh, 800 for 800. So that's uh, a shitload of tile, and I have 11 layers. So yeah, uh, and uh, Unity just um, can't really handle that. Well, maybe it can if you pass, if you spend all your time optimizing shit. But uh, I prefer making a system with already optimized for what I want to do. Uh, so, um, what we want to do is uh, make a mesh. Basically, a mesh is a set of uh, vertices and triangles uh, with properties like colors or uh, texture coordinate. And, um, and uh, for each child, we want uh, two triangles because that's how mesh works, yeah, that's a, that's a tile, right? And uh, it's made of uh, it's made of two triangles, right? And um, each triangle is made of three uh, vertices. For example, if uh, uh, vector 1 uh, is 0, 0, vector 2 is 0, 1, vector 3 is 1, 1, and vector 4 is 1, 0, the first triangle, triangle A, is vector 1, vector 2, vector 3, well, the indices of these vectors and the uh, triangle B is vector 1, vector 3, vector 4, right? Uh, that's, uh, yeah, this, right? 
vector 1 to vector 3, vector 3 to vector 4, vector 4 to vector 1, right? And we have two triangles like this, and that made a square, and the square is a tile. And we have a lot of them, and that's a tile map. And I know I'm an artist, right? So let's start. Um, for this example, we have uh, just uh, four Terran types, and we will do one mesh by uh, Terran type. Um, we can, uh, we could use some meshes, but uh, I want to keep this kind of simple. So we just use. Uh, so let's uh, let's start, right? Um, uh, let's start. Sorry. Uh, so we need four Terran types. So let's just do an enum, right? Uh, of water, dirt, grass, and rocks. Right. That's our Terran type. And um, what we want in the type, we want a position, a Terran type, a reference to our map. And for now, that's basically it. So let's do this. Um, yeah, so let's call this uh, term type, right? supposed to be able to modify position after but yeah I don't really care about this so I will not complicate it so let's make a constructor for the tile uh, so we need a position a terrain type and a map right and uh, it's just a style preference but I always use this in session um, because I find this uh, Easier to read, but uh, for example, the, the here you can just do map equals map. But yeah, I like uh, it like this. So do what, what you want for this. So that's our main constructor, right? And uh, we can do another one because uh, having a vector two here is kind of annoying sometimes. So let's just do one with int uh, x and int y, right? Um, So yeah, uh, this is just another constructor who, uh, who is calling the first constructor here and uh, just converting uh, int x and int y to a uh, vector to int, right? That's... And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's our, our type class. It's quite simple actually. So, uh, our map is just a list of tiles, so we want obviously a... Uh, what do we want here? Uh, I don't know why. Right? What do you command to see short? I don't understand. Oh. Uh, so, what do we want in our map? Sorry for this. Um, uh, in our map, uh, we want we want a list of tiles or an array of tiles exactly. So we need a, an array of tiles. We want the size to be a vector to int, right? Um, we want to be able to uh, if we have a map like this, uh, we want to be able to if we want the tile as zero zero, we want to be able to do. Or, or, or we want to be able to do um, this, right? Well, actually, we can. Um, and we want to be able to forage on our tiles, like uh, and that's it. Um, 
and that's what we want for Omega for now. So let's uh, let's make this. Uh, so obviously we want uh, some tiles and we want uh, I will not uh, yeah. Uh, we'll say this is uh, you are the only dev on this project and you don't care about uh, private, public and all that stuff uh, because uh, there is a lot of uh, kind of optimization and readability stuff to be made for this but uh, for for this example we don't care, right? Uh, so, uh, let's make a constructor for this class uh, size yeah. Um, size dot x, uh, size dot y. So here uh, we can use a, a one-dimensional array, right? Or you can you can use a two-dimensional array, and uh, it makes almost no difference. Just one-dimensional is kind of faster for huge maps. Uh, that's all. And for memory usage also, I think, but really it's just, uh, if you like this, you can do this. If you like this, you can do this, um, but do whatever you want, right? Um, and uh, the same goes for the sketchers. Uh, if you are using tile, uh, a two-dimensional array, and uh, you are okay with, with doing uh, this, Right, um, you you not it's not needed, right? Uh, it's just a reference. So let's make the first getter, right? Um, yeah. So uh, we need to check um, if uh, x and y are valid, right? So if x is uh, superior equal at zero and uh, y uh, is the same goes for, goes for y, but also if um, x is uh, inferior to the size of the map, and the same for y, right? And if this is the case, we will return uh, this dot tiles, and will you do? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and this is just a way to flatten the two D array to one dimension. And uh, if it's invalid, we will return null. And for the setter, we do exactly the same stuff, uh, except here. We go uh, and just for consistency, if we want to use uh, oops, sorry, I open a terminal. Uh, if we want to use uh, uh, a vector two here, a vector two int, right? Uh, we can just do. Uh, We can just do this, right? And it's going to work. And uh, we just miss what? What are we missing? Oh, oh, yeah. We want to be able to throw each on our map, so we need to make an enumerator. Uh, so uh, I think it's like this in C sharp. Yeah, right. Um, enumerator, right? Up. And. That's it. Uh, and now we can uh, we can forage on our map. Yeah. Um, we will always 
uh, we also want uh, we need to init our map right so for now we just uh, uh, we init everything to uh, to water right yeah goes uh, yeah um so x y terrain time water and uh, a reference to the map right uh and everything is water so and we want to be able to make some region or other things than water we could do something like this one five mega and the terrain type mega. Uh, equals current type of dirt, right? Uh, we can we can do this. It's working, but I want to be able to do this in a rectangle. So, right. Let's just do something like this. Sorry, I'm not talking, uh, but uh, this is a kind of self-explanatory, I think. Uh, basically, we for each uh, from start x to uh, y x is uh, inferior at start x plus width, and the same for y. And uh, in, in this rectangle, y, uh, we do um, we do what? Oh yeah, uh, we set the terrain type to what? To the terrain type right? Yeah, uh, and that's uh, all. So this way we can do uh, uh, I don't know. Let's do some random shit, right? Uh, so uh, two two with the width of twelve and the height of twelve. We want uh, that, and uh, at uh, five five with size of five five, we want uh, grass, and the last one. Uh, Nine nine with the size of nine nine, so that means our map is superior in size at twelve, uh, right? Well, well, it's actually fourteen because we start at two two. But you see what I mean? Um, rocks. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, in a real game system, you you will want to use uh, well uh, procedural generation or having. Uh, a structure to save our map data. Uh, well, in both cases, we want a structure to save our map data in your real game, but you know what I mean to save a map and load a map. And, uh, but for this example, this is fine. We don't need the long term storage for the data. So uh, let's check uh, how many mistakes I made. Uh, What? That's right. What did I do? Yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. Right. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, I was uh, giving the example of this and I stayed with this in mind, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's hard to to code and explain at the same time. That is the first time I'm doing this. Sorry if it's uh, kind of confusing. So this should be good, I guess. Uh, let's print something for now because we have no way to really test this for now because we don't have a renderer. So uh, let's say uh, map initialized right with the size of. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's create a new map in map renderer. Here. Map initialized with a size of 40 by 40. Right. That's cool. Uh, so now we need to draw something, right? Uh, so for that, we need the mesh data. But um, we can. Hmm. Uh, how do I, say? I explain this uh, quickly? Um, we, we don't need mesh data, right? Uh, in map mesh, we can just. Uh, because, like I said at the beginning, we want. Uh, one mesh for each terrain type, right? So one mesh for dirt, one mesh for grass, one mesh for rocks, one mesh for water. So here we can we could have a, a dictionary of um, terrain type mesh, right? And call this meshes um, in map mesh. But uh, I don't like this because um, well for multiple reasons actually, but uh, well, we d you don't have a real control over mesh in Unity, right? Yeah, it's a Unity object, um, but we can do whatever we want in mesh data, right? So, for example, we can just change the uh, the colors and not the well. You can do that with mesh; it's not a good example. But you know what I mean. I prefer to have a mesh data custom class when I. In my game, I started like this, and I ended up doing a mesh data class. So let's do a mesh data class, right? Um, and it's a, you will see it's not complicated, right? Because um, in Unity, a mesh is just a list of uh, vector tree, right? I call it these vertices, a list of uh, triangles, right? Uh, well, of integers. Uh, it's it's triangle and this is uh, call this uh, whatever you want. I call this triangles. Uh, and we will need color later, so uh, you can add color, you can add UV, you can add a lot of stuff depending on the shader you are using, right? Um, but for me, I, I just use uh, that just triangles in color for this example. And uh, we don't use colors for now. Uh, so let's make a constructor. Vector uh, tree. Right. What, what am I doing? Uh oh, I'm drunk. Uh, and we call this one the uh, new mesh, and we'll make this function. Just uh, I will explain why. Uh, so we need also a unity mesh, yeah, right. And uh, we always want to destroy the mesh before creating a new one. In the sense, in uh, we do we don't need to in this example, but if you want to make a game using this logic. Uh, you will want to be able to update uh, only your mesh triangles or vertices or UV or colors and uh, and everything. And if you want to clear everything, you want to restore the whole mesh, right? So for this, we do object delete uh, this dot mesh, right? And if mesh is null, it's done doing anything. So that's cool. Um, And basically, you can just do this, right? You can just do this. Yeah. 
but uh, I had problem when I was doing this in my game, and since I did this, I, I have much better performance of press. So yeah, uh, you also want a care function, yeah. Uh, just uh, here's the list, every list, right? And uh, making a new mesh, right? I uh, will not use this, the clear function, in this example, but like I said, if you want to make a game using the system, you will need the clear function, right? Uh, you also I uh, need a flag system to know what to, you want to redraw or to rebuild in the mesh. But uh, yeah, let's keep this simple, right? Uh, so this dot mesh dot set vertices uh, to these vertices, right? And this dot mesh to set triangles. This triangles. Zero. Uh, that the, the, the sub mesh the zero here, yeah, the sub mesh index, right? And you, we don't have sub mesh, so it's zero. And uh, I think there is a set colors function. I'm not sure actually, but there is. Um, just uh, something about uh, performance that optimi optimization. Um, it will be faster to use arrays here and passing the size of the mesh because uh, basically we know uh, the size. We know uh, we know uh, it's just uh, four vertices per tile, right? And uh, six indices. Yeah, uh, three here and three here, right? We know that, so we can. We could pass the size here and make arrays instead of lists. But for instance, this example, I will keep it like this. But if you're making a real game, think of the, the of this kind of stuff, right? Uh, it's much faster. Uh, an array is much faster, right? Um, what else? What else? So basically, this is it, right? And now we need to. Um, so we have our dictionary. We, like I said, we want uh, uh, we want one mesh uh, for each terrain type. Uh, so what we want is um, uh, a get mesh function. We type the terrain type, right? And uh, this is just uh, to simplify stuff. We, we will understand. Um, and if this dot meshes that contains key terrain type right on this that meshes terrain type right and if it is not the case this that meshes that add terrain type no mesh data right and right on this that meshes terrain type and that's uh, mesh data right uh, basically uh, what we do we will have a gen mesh. Here we are going to for each on each, yeah, for each tile, right? Uh, for each tile, and for each tile we want to get the 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 mesh of the terrain type, and this way we can just do this dot get mesh tile dot terrain type, right? And if the mesh is uh, already in the dictionary. We just grab the mesh, and if it's not, we create a new mesh. Yeah, it's it's quite simple. Uh, we also want a reference to our map, right? Uh, and the constructor, obviously. So let's do gen mesh, right? Um, so we want for each uh, on the tiles of the map. And uh, because we did an enumerator on uh, the map class, we are here, 
right? We can just do this for each child in this map. That's quite readable, right? <laughs> like it's easy to read and it's cool this way. Yeah. And we want to uh, we want to grab the mesh data uh, with the function uh, get mesh we did the, uh, earlier, right? This uh, this dot get mesh is type dot Terran type. So once again, uh, if the Terran type is already in the dictionary, we will turn the current mesh. If not, we create a new one, right? So here we will have uh, four meshes because we have four children sat type, right? And uh, yeah, basically that's it. So uh, now we will need to do uh, all this stuff, basically, right? So we have uh, four vertices, right? Uh, So we have four vertices, right? Uh, that's, uh, and uh, and two tri two triangles, each made of three. Uh, um, each one is made of three indices, right? Uh, the first triangle is v1, v2, v3. V2, 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 and uh, the second one is v1, v3, v4, right? Um, so for this, we need obviously to know the vertex and this is because for the first tile is going to be zero, but for the second one is going to be four. At least, uh, that's true. Yeah, right. So int vertex index equal mesh data dot vertices dot code. Yeah, that's just the number of vertices in our array. So for the first one is zero, for the second tile is four. Yeah, right. Um, so, uh, for the position of our vertices, right? Uh, the first one is 0, 0. So, 0, 0 is quite uh, easy, right? It's just the position of the tile, right? That 0, 0. Uh, and the second one is 0, 1. So, plus 1. Second one is 1, 1. So, plus 1, plus 1, right? And the last one is uh, one zero so plus one, yeah. And for the triangle, so so the first one is uh, v one, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I should have called this v zero v one v two v two instead of v one v two v three v four. But yeah, you know what I mean. So zero one two right zero. One, two, just do minus one in your head. And zero, two, three, right? And that's it, that's our mesh, right? And you, we need to we need to build the mesh, obviously, after this. So for each... Um, Yeah, I think that's that should work. Yeah, it's simple, really. Yeah, that should work. Right. Uh, let's go into mesh renderer. Let me uh, the map mesh. Uh, all right. And. Uh, Let's create some game object just to so uh, we just for each on the map mesh parent uh, type mesh data, right? And uh, for each mat we will create a game object. You can do this in a lot of ways, right? Uh, you could you could use graphics that draw mesh, right? And uh, not use a game objects. But uh, for this example, it will be much easier to show you like this, right? 
but you can do use graphic the draw mesh i think it's better actually but uh, it's faster but uh, for this we'll just make a uh, uh, new game object right uh, mesh right mesh mesh we'll just call this mesh for now okay Transform, let's set um, this to transform just to have a clean uh, hierarchy of game object and grab the transform. Those, uh, I will explain this in a second. Yeah, right, okay. Um, We'll uh, set the game object uh, be uh, in the uh, where is it? Yeah. so we'll create in a game object inside of map. Map will be the parent, and uh, we'll always put it at the position zero zero. But for Z, uh, we will use um, where is my name? We'll use uh, yeah this is, right in a, in an enemy. This is one. Two, three, four. Right? That's one, two, three, four. Yeah? And uh, we'll use this for the draw priority, right? So uh, rocks is drawn over grass, grass is drawn over dirt, and dirt is drawn over water. Right? It's simple. Um, so uh, we just need to convert this to an int and uh, put the negative yellow because it uh, camera is uh, on top, right? And uh, yeah, that's it basically. Uh, and uh, we need a mesh filter also. Uh, so uh, here, cave dot value is uh, mesh data, right? But uh, Oops, sorry. We can do something like this. Right, uh, this way is easier, it's uh, easy to read, right? Uh, yeah, it, it's absolutely, it's the same thing, right? So let's just test this. Now let's check, uh, yeah. Okay, value uh, yeah yeah it's better with if I name my variable right and here it's much better with mesh right because in mesh data we have a unity mesh object area and we generate what we need, right object does not contain I would say that it's industrial so Right. So now we have four meshes, right? And it's kind of shitty because they're all named mesh, but we can check them. So that's supposed to be the water, right? Uh, that's supposed to be, I guess, the dirt. Here's the grass. And here is, that's right. So yeah, it's not easy to see, right? So let's make some materials, right? Uh, create a material, water, uh, dirt, grass, rocks, right? And uh, let's use, for now, let's just uh, use a shader, a standard shader. And the texture, yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, and dirt is dirt, right? Uh, grass is grass. Rocks is rocks. And what is water? Right. So we have our four materials here, and now we need a way to access our material for the mesh render. Uh, so actually, we don't have a mesh render yet. Yeah. Mesh render. Right. C 
So, um, we need the material, right? And uh, we could do a list here. Yeah. Right, we can do this and uh, for example, uh, do this. Uh, right, and in the list, water will be zero, dot one, grass two, and works three. Right, we, we could do this, right? And this will work fine, except I'm uh, working uh, using Linux and uh, I don't trust Unity to save my scene or to not save fault when you, I use shaders. So that's why this file is here, right? So here we want, uh, and it's just a dictionary, right? A string material, call mat, and a loader, a static loader, yeah? And uh, it's, uh, we can use a resource.loader Material right uh, in uh, material right, and uh, that's uh, initialize our array. Right, um, right, that's. Uh, just a fast way to load uh, all the materials uh, in this uh, dictionary. And then we can just do res.max, max, max right, and we get our material. So uh, let's not forget to uh, load the materials. And, um, and here, we can just do res.mat uh, Once again, here cavit.key is um, is a terrain type, right? So We can just, yeah. Maybe uh, it's easier to understand this way, right? But this is not, uh, you don't need to do this, right? It's just easier to read, right? So let's test this. Um, well, that was slow, but it's working, right? We have four meshes, in one for each um, terrain type, right? And uh, yeah, it's not slow, right? Uh, Unity is laggy on Linux, right? But it's not slow. <laughs> okay, uh, but. Um, yeah. So now, what do we want to do? We want to blend this with this, right? And blend this with this. And I will do this in the next video, but I will explain quickly what uh, we are going to do. So, um, so basically, uh, that's our system right now. We have a tile, it's two triangles, and we have the surrounding tile, the neighbors, right? And for example, this is dirt and this is grass, right? Uh, that's fine. But what we want to do is to blend grass with dirt. And uh, it's kind of complicated, so let me explain. Um, yeah. So, what we want to do, if a tile if uh, a neighbor, right, is not the same as the current tile, current tile is dirt. If the neighbor is not the same, for example, here the neighbor is grass, it, uh, grass is different than dirt, right? We want to subdivide this uh, mesh in uh, four small uh, squares, 
right in four small squares only if it's different right and then once uh, we did this uh, basically we will use two vertex colors so we'll use white and transparent right and on the dot mesh we will want to set uh, for example here right we want to set these vertices this vertice to white and this one this one this one this one this one okay to transparent I hope it's clear, right? And uh, this is uh, the way we are going to... And this is our vertices. So, yeah. I, I will explain this more in detail in the next video, but basically this is what we want to do. We have... Uh, uh, it is the same, right? It's uh, like this is two triangles each time for each of these. Right? But basically we want this to be white right right and and the rest of them to be transparent only in the dot mesh we don't care in the grass mesh right so we will do this in the next episode uh, for now i'll just show the shader i made uh, <coughs> it's quite a simple shader right uh, i will explain i will explain later and this also, but it's a it's a simple shader. I will share it with this video anyway. But uh, just let's use it to see the difference. So uh, as you can see now, we, we can see the texture. But uh, what uh, I like to do in my uh, game uh, engine and uh, my tiles. I don't like to have a texture for one tile, right? Because you, uh, here you even uh, with the uh, the shaded view you can see the the tile, right? But even if the it's a seamless texture, you can see uh, the tile, right? Uh, it's small squares, right? But if I use uh, the texture because the texture are big, the textures are five hundred by five hundred. So if I use the texture for a tile, let's say, see, it's much harder to see the tile now, right? Uh, because now um, uh, a texture is only uh, repeated uh, eight by eight, right? So this is so it looks cool, uh, and uh, I will share the shader obviously, but uh, we will modify the shader before. For the blending and we will see that in the next episode i hope you enjoy i hope you um, everything was uh, well explained sorry for my english but yeah and uh, yeah i hope you enjoy see you next time bye bye